Now at 5.30, Rhode Island DEM is urging residents to take precautions now against winter moth caterpillars. Winter moth eggs will begin hatching soon, and the caterpillars will begin doing damage to plants and trees. Eyewitness News reporter Pete Mangione joins us now with the details, new at 5.30. There are many things to look forward to as the weather gets warmer, but the hatching of the winter moth will not be one of them. Unfortunately, this type of caterpillar will likely soon be showing up at a tree or plant near you. We're having people contact arborists and pesticide applicators to get ready for the winter moth outbreak. Bruce Payton, deputy chief of the DEM's Division of Forestry Management, says you should make sure the specialist is licensed and insured. Contacting them now will give you time to get several quotes, but it will also ensure that the pesticides are applied just after the buds break, which is the ideal time for application. We usually hope people are out there beginning of May or middle of May. Waiting too long could result in leaves looking like this, or a tree that is completely defoliated. If this happens year after year, the tree can actually die. The caterpillars go after all kinds of trees, shrubs and bushes, but the oaks and maples are especially at risk. Last year we were inundated with calls. Uh, we had over a thousand calls at our office and that was a lot to handle. And Peyton expects more of the same this year. At first, the invasive species was only found in Newport and Bristol County, but they are now crawling and flying around pretty much everywhere in Rhode Island. Porches seem to be hangout spots for the adult moths last fall and winter, and while the flying version of the moth is relatively harmless. If you saw them last fall, you're probably going to have the insect crawling around this spring. And for more tips on how to prevent tree and plant damage from the winter moth, you can find that linked on our website at WPRI.com. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.